3603 build. Got a package from Hard Motorsports. It's their aluminum pedal kit. And we're gonna throw that in. We'll do like some B-roll shots and all. And uh, yeah, so throw the pedals in. This will be like the first like mod to the car. I just thought it, I'd throw them in because in my other E36s I had a red 328IS and a green 318i and both of them the gas pedals broke off the floor so this kind of prevents that with the stronger metal hinge so we're going to open it up and then throw them in so what we're going to do is we're going to start by removing the old pedal the old gas pedal because the other two are just covers that screw onto the brake and clutch pedal so the first piece that's come off is this little E-clip. Oh, this little E-clip comes off the top of the accelerator pedal onto the rod. I'm gonna try to like find a picture online of it because I can't really show you guys that. But I just spun it around to the bottom and pried it off with a flathead. So and then the gas pedal should slide off that pin. Then now I can get to the second part which I'll try to show you guys a little bit better. So now there should be a little tab down here that we gotta push down. Oh, well, that's not supposed to happen, oh, but that is. So, so, yeah, hopefully yours comes out a little bit more gracefully than mine did. Okay, so after you wrestle with that little plastic bracket, it's kind of just like clips into the holes in the bottom. You'll be left with the little tab that mounts the gas pedal and the accelerator rod. My bad, I had to turn the camera off. It's kind of awkward with the camera right there. And then you're ready to throw your new pedal in. So the hard pedals are gonna use the same exact mounting bracket as your factory ones did. Except for instead of a little plastic clip, it actually has this little aluminum plate that bolts to the back of the BMW plate. So this will slide in those same holes. Looks like I might have to trim the carpet a little bit. But um, this will literally slide right into those holes. And then accelerator rod, save your clip and then your gas pedal will be on. So let me do that real quick. Slide the little sandwich plate. So the sandwich plate will slide right behind it and screw in with little Allens. So yeah, I found this to work. It's a little 2.5 screw gun bit, 2.5 mil, and a little wrench to put on it. And you can basically do it with that. Okay, so, okay, now the hinge is all the way tight. If they're using my little hex bit wrench setup, um, definitely would be easier in a gutted car, but I kind of want to keep the carpet in it somewhat for now. So now all we got to do is push the rod back through the pedal. Let me set you guys up real quick. And this part is pretty much the same as how it came out. I'm just gonna push the rod. Into the pedal, I think. No. Slide that in. So that's the gas pedal all installed. Uh, I sprayed it with some some white lithium grease. I've seen on the website that some people replace their return springs, so I'll probably do that. It's a little bit stiff, but after I greased it with some white lithium grease, it still it still works fine. So now we're gonna move on to the brake and the clutch pedal, which are hopefully easier. So the brake and clutch pedal are just literally just covers. 
line it up with the contour of the OEM pedals. I'll mark the three holes, drill the hole through the pedal, and then just comes with hardware to bolt it on. And that'll be it. Tighten up the uh, mounting hardware. The brake pedal one on one went on a little wonky. I don't know if it's because I had to like pre-drill it and then I had the wrong drill bit and then all that. And with the ribs in the in the brake pedal itself, it made it a little more annoying to drill than the clutch pedal with the clutch pedal being plastic. It's pretty much done. Just gotta tighten up all the hardware. Vacuum it out, and um, that'll pretty much be a wrap on the first real install of this M3 build on my channel. Okay, so that's the hard motorsports pedals all installed and in car. Uh, I might have to play with the plate on the gas pedal and move it over a little bit because if I drive in boots, I actually can't fit my foot in between. And the alignment's a little bit weird, I'll have to mess around with it some more and see if it feels comfortable, but that's what they look like all installed in the car. So yeah, that's the Hard Motorsports E36 pedal kit. Fits E46 and a couple other 3 Series chassis, I believe. Uh, pretty impressed with it. It's definitely, like, getting the gas pedal out, it's kind of a pain in the ass. It definitely would be a lot easier if this is a gutted car, so we just cut around it kind of made adjustments and my clutch pedal's way over to the left for some reason i just noticed that so i might look into that but overall yeah i like it looks good might have to like i said in the beginning change out the return spring for my gas pedal because it's kind of like binds up i looped it up and it seems to work for now but we'll see it once it gets on the road more yes yeah, so that's the first install on the z36 m3 build i'm looking forward to it i got parts coming in all the time for it just getting ready to start really rolling on it in winter you saw in the beginning, I got the wood stove in the garage now, so I won't be out here freezing all the time. Yeah, so if you want to see more installs and stuff on an M3 and E36, like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of the year. And then we'll start rolling into more content in the new year with all the new parts and race season coming up with Ed. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.